The timetable is a chart designed to show patterns of transactions over time. And here we're looking at data for a higher education fundraiser. And the timetable, this chart on the left, uh, shows transactions, uh, communications running from the beginning of July of 2009 through a full year period through the end of June of 2010. There are four types of communication. General letters at the top, this group here. Personalized letters, this group here. Telephone, and then email or web-based appeals. Um, these numbers are the ID numbers of recipients. So there's 55,545 total recipients who have received 608,000 communications of these various types over this year. So this line on the left would be a general theme letter that went to almost everybody. It runs the whole gamut of ID numbers. Uh, this occurred in July. And it was then followed uh, by another general letter in early September to the whole population. And as the year progressed, there were themed general letters that went to smaller groups in the broken lines here, followed by a whole cluster of personalized letters to smaller subgroups. Uh, telephone follow-up started in the fall, or ran through Thanksgiving, then took a break and came back a little bit in December, took a break, and then followed up in the, uh, the, the winter period into the spring. And then there were web-based appeals that started in late November um, and went sporadically, picked up heavily in the spring. The bars over here show the dominant uh, type of appeal uh, were these web email-based appeals. You can see that in this touch point uh, uh, chart as well. Uh, these are, again, people uh, running from those that had the fewest numbers of touches. Some of them have one touch point. Uh, to some at the higher end have been touched uh, 22, 23 times uh, over this one-year period. In the red are the email appeals. So you see that the, the big pickup here uh, with the people with the high touches are these um, web-based appeals that tend to occur later in the year. Now let's drill in a bit. Uh, there are a series of programs here uh, which these appeals are grouped into. Let's look at a couple. The April uh, appeal uh, has a, a pattern where there's a general letter at the top which goes to almost everybody followed up by a series of email uh, follow-up appeals. And you can sort of see that um, you know, there's a group of people who just get the general letter, the blue, and there's another group that then get the general letter plus, you know, four to five email appeals. Let's look at another appeal, the class appeal. If I click on that one, that's a little bit different. These, this group is getting a, a series of personalized letters. They generally just get a few looking at it here. Some of them get some email follow-up at the end of the year, so maybe they get, you know, four or five touch points, but it's a very different pattern, the class appeal than the April appeal. Let's look at one more, homecoming. So the homecoming appeal is, is different yet again. It's web-based. There's two mailings that goes pretty much to everybody. And, and you can see in this chart, almost everybody you know, gets, gets the two emails. So quickly, the timetable has shown there's some real differences in these programs and how they use the media over time. Now let's look at um, the people who have had the fewest touches and the people who have had the most touches and see what that looks like. I take my mouse, I left click and sweep over the group of people at the top who have had the fewest touches. Let's get rid of everybody else. Well, the first thing that jumps is there's a couple of appeals uh, the in memo uh, that are dominant up there. And if I look at the market segment, uh, what dominates is the five year plus consecutive donors are the ones that are touched the least, which is, I guess, not surprising because they're getting you know, communication of different types and they're making a donation and probably then are backed off after that. It looks OK. Now let's go to the bottom of this chart and look at the ones who have been touched you know, 20 to 25 times. We'll select them with the mouse, get rid of everybody else. Let's see what's happening here. Well, this April appeal tends to be going to them, uh, and as do some others, the homecoming appeal. And it tends to be um, the laggards, the lapsed donors and the never givers are the ones getting this. So what we're seeing here is, that let's bring all the data back. Uh, is I have some very different patterns of behavior. I'm probably pretty efficiently covering uh, my top donors with a few touch points mixing up these programs, but I'm hitting uh, some of my non-donors and lapsed donors very heavily with an awful lot of touches across a variety of programs and media, and that's probably not the right thing to do. So the timetable, just to summarize, is a chart that shows uh, patterns of transactions over time, and it does a great job of laying out, in this case, some of the differences in the, uh, the programs and the types of people uh, these messages are being sent to.